Hello there viewers, welcome to another episode of The Green Echoes. My name is Nicholas J. Karnami, your host of the show. The Green Echoes is an initiative by DD Meghalaya to highlight the critical environmental issues that are affecting our lives. Indeed, when we talk about the environment, it is a global phenomena. And when it comes to environmental issues which are affecting us globally, here in the state of Meghalaya, we are also seeing the impact of it. Through this very show, The Green Echoes, we are trying to emphasize, particularly on the initiatives that are being taken by the government and its policies, as well as local initiatives and individual efforts towards a healthier planet. On this episode of The Green Echoes, we will be highlighting and focusing on the essence and the significance of the observance of World Environment Day. Every year on the 5th of June, we celebrate the World Environment Day and the United Nations features a particular theme so that the nations all around the world can come together collectively to focus on the raging environmental challenge that we all are facing. And this year, the World Environment Day 2024 theme is land restoration, the certification and drought resilience. This event is being hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia at Riyadh. World Environment Day, celebrated annually on June 5th, was established by the United Nations in 1972 during the Stockholm Conference on the human environment. This day is dedicated to raising awareness and inspiring action for the protection of our environment. Each year, millions of people worldwide come together to address pressing environmental issues with the shared objective of fostering a healthier, more sustainable planet for future generations. Each year, World Environment Day features a different theme, encouraging communities worldwide to address various environmental challenges. World Environment Day 2024 focuses on the theme of land restoration, desertification and drought resilience. This year, the event is hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Riyadh. The theme underscores the urgent need to address land degradation and the impacts of desertification and drought, which are aggravating climate change and threatening biodiversity and human livelihoods. The slogan for the World Environment Day 2024 is our land, our future. We are hashtag generation restoration. Land restoration is a critical pillar of the World Environment Day 2024 theme and the organizers wish to rally people for the revival of ecosystems around the world. This year's theme underscores the urgent issue to address land degradation and the serious concerns that we are facing because of this and how we as individuals and the community at large need to come together to address this concern which is towards land restoration, towards facing the desertification of our landforms and a flora and fauna and at the same time the serious concern of drought resilience and how active initiative of the community can help us save this planet from this major concern that is affecting us as nations, particularly affecting biodiversity loss and impacting on our livelihoods. Here's what the experts and various officers from government departments have to share about the various initiatives undertaken in order to protect the environment. Uh, first of all, a happy World Environment Day to all of you. Uh, this World Environment Day is actually one of the, it's the biggest international day for the environment. 
This is led by the UN, the United Nations, and has been, we've been celebrating World Environment Day with a di different theme every year since 1973. And through these years, it has become the largest platform for environment outreach. Uh, this year's World Environment Day, it has a focus on land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience, and is hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We have a country hosting the World Environment Day every year. So this year it is being hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I think in the, for the first time in 50 years, a West Asian country is hosting this event this year. Uh, you may be knowing that the year 2021 to 2030 has been declared as the UN decade for ecosystem restoration. So this year's theme is a call for uh, the protection and restoration of ecosystem all over the world. Today we have three crises, a triple planetary crisis staring at us today. One is the crisis of climate change, second is the crisis of nature and biodiversity loss, and the third is the crisis of pollution and waste. This crisis is laying assault on the world's ecosystem. It is leading to land degradation everywhere in millions of hectares. And this will impact more than half of the world's population and will also have a, have a big impact on the global JD, uh, JDB. Now, uh, this will hit the poor the small farmers and also states like us, hilly states with very fragile ecosystem will be hit the hardest. Hence, restoration as this year's theme becomes very important. So restoration will boost livelihood, it will uh, lower poverty and it will uh, build resilience to extreme weather events, just like the extreme weather events that we have been witnessing uh, every year and even now at this time of the year, even in Shillong, we can see, we can witness and we can feel the extreme weather events that's ha happening today. And not only that, but restoration, land restoration will also increase the carbon storage. It will increase the carbon storage and so it will slow down the impact of climate change because land restoration alone without addressing the various issues of climate change would be a futile exercise actually. So uh, see we cannot we cannot turn back the time we cannot turn back the clock but it is not too late for us we can still uh, plant trees grow a forest we can lend nature a helping hand and just like this year's slogan says, because this is our land and our future, and we are hashtag generation restoration. So I would like to invite everyone to be a part of this generation that will restore this planet for all of us today and for the generations to come. The World Environment Day during the current financial year for this year 2024 yeah, has, uh, I mean, is with the uh, has been proclaimed to to be with the theme, land restoration, and then um, initiate the to, pre to prevention of desertification steps taken to prevent desertification, and initiatives taken to restore the land, uh, which is uh, degraded on account of various factors, and then drought resilience. How to build drought resilience? So uh, the Meghalaya Forest Department has been undertaking various steps in this regard especially for the matter of uh, restoration of land, we have taken several measures like for example, <coughs> to carry out afforestation in areas which have been de degraded on account of uh, shifting cultivation, loss of forest cover on account of shifting cultivation, mining and other economic activities. Whatever deforestation which we have had uh, during these years, we try to restore the forest area 
in these areas we are undertaking various afforestation programs. Various afforestation programs are being undertaken through uh, the state plan schemes and then uh, through uh, CAMPA compensatory afforestation fund uh, schemes <coughs> and then uh, from also from the environmental protection uh, restoration fund MEPR fund which has been created in the state of Meghalaya on account of the orders of the honorable NGT in the rat hole coal mining banning case. The NGT case through which rat hole uh, coal mining had been banned in the state of Meghalaya. The particular NGT case, the honorable NGT had directed creation of a fund known as Meghalaya Environment Protection Restoration Fund. So, uh, through this fund also several, uh, um, uh, several measures are being taken to restore the land which has been degraded on account of the rat hole mining. <clears throat> so, in this through these schemes say for the last 5 years we have uh, undertaken afforestation over an area of 2282 hectares during last 5 years and nearly 23 lakhs 1948 saplings have been planted have been planted across the state as a measure. To, uh, to ensure afforestation in areas which have been degraded on account of various factors, various biotic and abiotic factors in the state. And of special mention is the restoration of land in Sora. As you all know, Sora is one of the means, of course, we were uh, combating desertification. So, of course, we do not find desert, desert in Sora, but then there is a lot of soil erosion, top soil erosion has been happening in Sora uh, due to which the forest cover has diminished considerably in the plateaus of Cherapunji. So, to restore the forest cover, to restore the soil quality in Cherapunji, we have undertaken uh, plantation over an area of uh, 1693.5 hectares. So, this is about the, the various measures that we are taking undertaking uh, to combat uh, like for example, in uh, Cherapunji, though there is no desertification as such, but the topsoil erosion has been such that now the tree growth is reduced to a very great to a very significant extent. Mm. The government of India has created a new scheme called Nagarvan Yojana, urban forestry. That is, we have Nagarvans, have uh, of urban forests uh, in forests in urban areas because now. India is having considerable area of urban area also and it is essential to have forests not only rural areas, but we need to have them in urban areas as well mm -hmm. to provide good safe environment to the public mm -hmm. recreation uh, area to the public. So, in this regard uh, we, we have received uh, funding for two Nagarwan Yojanas in uh, Mopat East Khasi Hills and also Atogri West Garo Hills Tura. Because as you know um, uh, I mean uh, on account of the rat hole coal mining, the land uh, says, uh, several patches of land in certain districts only not across the entire state have been degraded to some extent on account of uh, the rat hole mining. Correct. So, this area needs to be reclaimed. Mm -hmm. okay. we, the, the state government is keen to have scientific mining, mm -hmm. but then alongside we also need to have uh, restoration of the areas which have been denuded which have been degraded on account of rat hole mining. So, in this regard through the funds made available from the Meghal Environment Protection Restoration Fund totally about in the in, uh, in each GNTH district yes, in, in, uh, under the MEPR fund Meghal Environment Protection Restoration Fund areas affected on account of coal mining we have uh, uh, undertaken uh, restoration of about 59.5 hectares in each GNTH district and East Khasi Hills district about 25 hectares and West Khasi district about 111 hectares and East Garo Hills district about 15 hectares, South Garo Hills district about 185.48 hectares and West Jaintia Hills about 20.26 hectares right from the school days. So, the children should be actively involved, the school should spread awareness of the importance of the forests, preservation of the forests, preservation of the environment and observe World Environment Day in a very serious and fitting manner uh, that would um, uh, that, that would behove a state like ours northeast is supposed to be like Meghalaya is supposed to be cradle of endemic species that is how Hooker described our state way back in 1857. 
two centuries ago. So, cradle of endemic species. So, we have rare endangered species in our state and that was recognized internationally way back 200, 200 years ago. So, we have a duty to ensure that this rich repository of biodiversity which we have, this rich repository of rare threatened species which we have should be well preserved and, and not be lost and extinguished forever from the mankind. So, to achieve this objective, we need to preserve our forest cover, we need to preserve our environment for which not only the government departments, but the public also need to be to be motivated, involved and give us a helping hand in preserving this rich treasure that our state has. This uh, theme I think is uh, very relevant uh, given the ecological problems the whole world is facing and uh, these ecological problems have been aggravated by climate change in the recent uh, past, in the last uh, two decades or like that. So, most of our uh, actions for ecological security, they originate on the land. And this is also a fact that uh, we are facing land degradation of different forms at a, at a very rapid pace. So, I think in this situation, the theme for this, uh, this year's World Environment Day, mm -hmm. that is uh, land uh, re restoration, drought, uh, resilience. drought resilience and uh, desertification, desertification right. that is very, very relevant. Though we do not face uh, problem of desertification, mm -hmm. but in uh, and uh, Meghalaya, though it's a uh, uh, the state is blessed with very vast uh, natural resources, particularly it's a forest rich uh, state. It's a high biodiversity uh, state. We receive very high rainfall. There are number of uh, endowments uh, which nature has blessed the state. But despite that, we have many problems also, which we are facing uh, uh, from, I mean, uh, from the ecological uh, concerns point of view. The first and foremost is the water. And it uh, looks as a paradox that we receive such a um, um, highest rainfall in the world, but still we face uh, water scarcity. Uh, and this water scarcity, if uh, we go a little deep into this problem, this is basically a symptom of degradation of our ecosystems. So, what has happened that in the last uh, couple of decades, the land use land cover in the state has changed very rapidly. A lot of urbanization is taking place. Mm -hmm. Uh, mining activity is happening all over the state. Then population is also on the rise. With all this, uh, the land use, land cover has uh, changed quite drastically. And because of that, and this is also a fact that uh, forest cover, though ours, uh, our state is uh, having one of the largest forest cover in the country, it figures in the top uh, few states, mm -hmm. but uh, in the last uh, uh, 10 to 15 years, uh, according to the Forest Survey of India report, mm -hmm. uh, the forest cover in the state is declining. Right. And uh, so, because of all these uh, land use land cover change, degradation of forest, then we also see that uh, 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 many plantations, commercial plantations have been, are being created uh, by clearing forests. So, plantation, there is nothing wrong with the plantations and orchards. It is good for the economy of the state, it is good for the economy of the people. Uh, it gives them income generating opportunities. But, uh, not, it should not happen at the cost of uh, forests. And that, this is all, uh, means all these activities are uh, resulting into uh, 
disturbing the water cycle because forests play a very important role in the water cycle and because of that our water our springs rivers they are not getting uh, charged mm -hmm. by the uh, water mm -hmm. the natural cycles are disturbed and this is also so uh, this is one reason, uh, reason then we are also because of all these processes we are losing our very fertile soil so this is another a big uh, problem which is being faced by the state so the we we should essentially focus on land restoration activities and which happens to to be the theme of this uh, world environment day uh, meghalaya basin development authority is implementing several external aided projects mm -hmm. and the focus of most of these eaps mm -hmm. are restoration of uh, land restoration of ecosystems mm -hmm. catchments right. of the state mm -hmm. so we have uh, under under the aegis of uh, meghalaya basin development authority several initiatives have been taken up mm -hmm. for strengthening our ecosystems and restoring our uh, catchments mm -hmm. uh, i can name a few you might have heard recently uh, our honorable uh, chief minister has launched payment for ecosystem services mm -hmm. it's a very novel kind of initiative mm -hmm. uh, which has been launched on a state in a means uh, on the state wide scale mm -hmm. uh, through this initiative we are uh, encouraging our community persons mm -hmm. in fact you you are you may be aware that in our state uh, over 90% forests are owned by the communities and individuals and uh, they they uh, they are protecting and conserving these forest resources in ages but because of all these pressures and land use land cover change definitely there are uh, pressure on our uh, forests uh, so in fact uh, this is uh, so this is scheme this payment for ecosystem service uh, initiative has been launched to encourage and incentivize our communities uh, to uh, to conserve and manage uh, the natural forests owned by them in a sustainable manner following scientific uh, methods my message uh, uh, would be that uh, we all should uh, first uh, be aware about uh, the grave uh, threat and grave uh, situation which uh, uh, we are going to face and particularly we should be concerned about our future generations mm -hmm. so each and every one of us has a duty has a role to play mm -hmm. in uh, restoration of uh, the land and restoration of our environment ecosystems water forests biodiversity soil mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it is very important and i think uh, uh, this year themes is uh, very rightly centered around that end of this episode of the green echoes i'm reminded of the words of the great former president of the united states barack obama change will not happen if we are waiting for someone or for some other time we are the person that we have been waiting for and change can only happen and can come only through us on that note this is nicholas j karnami winding up this episode of the green echoes where we highlighted about the essence and the significance of the World Environment Day observation globally and especially highlighting on this year's theme which is land restoration, desertification and drought resilience. I hope it was a very insightful episode and we all understand at the end of the day that it is 
the initiatives that we need to take at the individual and the community level all together coming together towards ending this environmental challenge that we and the future generations to come will be facing. This is Nicholas J. Karnami signing out with the team of Didi Meghalaya. And once again, let us be reminded of the very fact, as the great father of our nation had said, that we need to be the change so that we can bring the change we want to see. So it has to begin with you and I. So don't just think green, act green. Lahipor, 